Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are reviewing the Yorkville YXL 12P. Stay tuned. Now you know the deal. If you're new here and haven't been on my channel before and you like this kind of stuff, DJ gear reviews, DJ gig vlogs, DJ tips and stuff like that, Make sure to like and subscribe down below so I can keep making videos for you guys, all right? Let's get right into it. Now, this speaker has been out since COVID, so um, there's not a lot of reviews out right now uh, with this speaker. This is more of the budget line of Yorkville speakers. In my opinion, the best bang for its buck. For new DJs especially, you guys will love this. Like, the bass response is really nice and boomy um, and for the price point it's literally six hundred dollars Canadian so that equates to four hundred and fifty dollars US which is a great value and this works well for smaller to medium size events now this speaker is obviously a powered active loudspeaker and it boasts a 500 watts program and a thousand watts peak now it does have a 12 inch woofer and a 2.3 inch voice coil it is a class d amplifier and the max spl on this is 126 decibels now what i love about the speaker is that it's a really nice looking speaker very industrial looking and the the front metal grill is not just flat it's a little beveled inwards very slick looking that's what i love about it and uh, it's made out of polypropylene plastic, so very hard plastic. Um, it has a few handles on the sides and uh, on the back. Um, there are a couple of ways you can set the speaker up. You can set it up like this, straight up and down. Um, you can set it on its side as a monitor. Um, and then you can set it, of course, on a pole, a speaker pole. But there's an extra feature on this. It also has an angle pole mount, another hole that you can angle it uh, downwards toward uh, your, your audience if you, if you need to. It also has Bluetooth, so you can literally just pair it with any of your Bluetooth devices. Now this speaker only weighs 37 pounds, so it's pretty light comparably to the other 12 inch speakers in its class. Yorkville doesn't skimp on their quality. All this stuff that they make is quality and this is no exception. Now I didn't touch on a lot of the specs of this speaker. If you want to see all the specs, I'll leave it right now on the screen so you can take a look and pause it at any time in this video. There's a lot of stuff going on the back of the speaker in the mixer section, so let's take a look. All right guys, so here is the back of the speaker now, the mixer section. As you can see, there are three channels to this uh, speaker. And um, the first channel here has uh, the dedicated uh, instrument channel and it's you can plug in quarter inch or XLR as well. There's a uh, line level and then there's also clip um, LEDs right here on the top of each channel so you can see them when they are clipping. Channel number two is the same as the first. Uh, XLR and a uh, quarter inch. Um, the third channel though is the dedicated um, aux in channel so you can plug in straight with a one eight inch headphone jack into your uh, device and control it from there or alternatively you can use Bluetooth pair it to your device through Bluetooth. Um, now the master controls all the levels uh, at the same time and you can plug in straight here XLR through from your source as well, right? Um, you, can, you have the button a stereo button right here below it uh, So you can go stereo or mono uh, Right here is the link function so you can link to a sub or another speaker um, right beside that uh, enables the actual mixer so if you press it um, you can use it literally you don't have to bring a separate mixer this uh, is a sub button so if you're using a sub you can plug in straight to here and it'll um, literally take all the sub frequencies from the tops and put it the sub itself so 100 hertz right here now we have different modes of the the speaker the concert mode is more for uh, singing more for vocals it'll bring out the highs and mids the club mode is more for DJs more bass heavy stuff 
Um, the monitor mode is you put it on its side and then same thing, almost close to uh, the concert mode where you'll hear more of the mids and highs as well. Um, so that's that's pretty much the, the back of the speaker. And then at the bottom here, we have, of course, the plug to plug in your IC cable. Uh, it's not, unfortunately, battery powered. Um, and then here's the power switch right here on and off. So I did take this speaker and uh, actually I have two of them. So I did take them both out to a wedding to test them out, just to test the waters and see how they do. And uh, let's take a look how they did. All right guys, so today we are doing another wedding. Um, this room is eh, it's a sizable room. We are using the Yorkville YXL 12 piece today. We're gonna check them out. We're gonna check them out throughout the night and uh, yeah, we'll see how it stacks up and uh, if, if it can do this room. This room is, is, is fairly large, it's 150 people. Hey guys, so gig done, YXL 12 piece. They did the job. They peaked a little bit when I pushed them. And the bass was limiting and then it would disappear and then come back. But other than that, it, it did the job. So what did you guys think about the speakers? Not bad, right? Now, I do love them. They are great. A lot of pros to them, a lot of features. Yorkville didn't skimp on the features. And with the price point, oh, a lot of DJs, new DJs, and even veteran DJs will jump on this for sure, just because of the price point, the value, the, the output, it's great. But I do have a few cons. I just wanna be honest with you guys. Now at my wedding, I was using an external mixer to control them. And you know with external mixers, you get a little bit more headroom. Now with this speaker, it sounded amazing at low and medium volume. So when you're not pushing them really, really hard, and when you put them on that club mode, whew, they bang. You don't need a subwoofer for small, medium events with these speakers. Now, I did find when I started the dancing and when I started pushing them though, that the bass response kind of rolled off. It didn't really give any more bass. The bass was already great, but it just didn't give more right i was pushing the levels now the highs and mids would get a little bit louder but the bass it just rolled off pretty sure there is a limiter in this speaker most speakers do so that's what i find at high volumes uh that it limits there's so there's a limit to it i guess for more medium larger size events i would recommend to have a sub at least one possibly two if you want to do bigger events with this. Now, another thing that I found um, that I did not personally like, now this is just me being nitpicky, the handles, and I guess I'm used to my QSC K12s, uh, the handle being right at the top and being uh, like center of gravity, right? You can move it and you can actually lift two of them at the same time. But this, the handle is awkwardly in the back so it's almost like a lip that you have to um, carry and then it tilts forward. So it's a little awkward. You can bring two of them, but it's a little awkward. And then um, it has handles also on the sides. So you won't be able to carry two of them if you're carrying the one. And then there is another handle on the side so you can carry it on the side. And it's pretty lightweight, but it's just me being nitpicky. Those are my cons for the speaker, but overall, this is the best budget speaker out on the market right now. So if you guys are looking for something budget, this is it. If I was a new DJ and I was starting out, this is the speaker I'd get. At the price point, you cannot be beat at all. The value, all the features uh, that come with it, it's a great speaker. So thumbs up from me, 100% uh, recommend the speaker. Let me know if you guys want to get it let me know your thoughts if you want to know anything about uh, this speaker if i missed anything let me know down in the comments i'll be happy to talk about it and i'll be answering every single one of your questions 
All right, so if you like this content, please make sure to subscribe and like this video so I can keep making videos for you guys, all right? This is DJ9 signing off, and I'm out.